today's episode of the Time Traveling Buddies, Sydney and Cassidy will be traveling back in time to the 1800s during the Industrial Revolution, mostly focusing on population growth and urbanization. Hi, and welcome back to our Time Traveling series. Today we're going to England in the 1800s. See you guys there. What's your name and profession? I'm Andrew. I run a business here in the city. How many people live here? Oh, just me, my wife, my mother, my two children, and my four cousins. How many rooms do you have here? Just the one, but we have a window in the back. Oh, what do you think the reason is for this lack of housing? I would say, the low, the, despite the job opportunities here in the city, there are low wages. My daughter's become a prostitute, and my son has turned into a life of crime. Not very good. That's very unfortunate. Now we head to the country to be a farmer. Hello, sir, and what is your name? My name's Clyde. I'm a farmer on this year very piece of land. What are some of the farming innovations you've been using? Well, you see, I got Betty over there, and she is a mechanized reaper. And over there, that's Patty. She is a cast iron plow. Now you see here, I'm getting her a sister. Her name's gonna be Sam, and she is going to be a steel plow. And all of this here innovation plus crop rotation is making me far more productively than ever. What do you think the reason is for everyone moving into the city and out of the rural areas? Well, you see, because I can farm more efficiently and with less workers, I am providing more food for them city folk. And that provides more jobs for people who want to sell the food in the cities. Thank you, sir. We're going to head back to the city now. On our way back to the city, we met someone. Sir, can you tell us your name and profession? Hi, I'm Benjamin, and I'm a doctor. AKA disease enthusiast. What are some diseases you've encountered? Well, here in my notebook, I've written down some notes from my past encounters. I've dealt with children who have had cholera, tuberculosis, and typhoid fever. But my favorite disease of all is rickets which is found mainly in children who have lack of access to sunlight. What do you think the main cause of rickets is? Well, for one, unsanitary conditions, such as cold and damp housing is a main deal, and smog, which mainly causes respiratory issues. What are some medical breakthroughs you've been able to experience throughout your lifetime? Well, I was able to see the discovery of the smallpox vaccine by Dr. Edward Jenner of England. Um, I've also seen Dr. John Snow's work with cholera victims. He realized that higher taxes would help pay for public sanita sanitation, sanitation, which would improve health. Therefore, in 1869, a sewage system was created in London. What do you know about germs? I'm actually reading this book about Pasteur and the germ theory. <clears throat> Louis Pasteur uh, used a microscope to identify tiny organisms called germs that he believed were responsible for the rotting of food and liquids. Um, he also developed two vaccines, one for rabies and another for anthrax. In addition, he gave his name to pasteurization, which is a process used to kill bacteria and milk by heating it to a high temperature. Uh, another thing I've encountered was the antiseptic method, which is the practice of never allowing germs to enter a medical operating procedure. And it was pioneered by a British physician named Joseph Lister. That's all. We've learned a lot about germs. Let's go back to the city. We're going back to the city. Oh, and look who I ran into. Hey. <laughs> hey, Andrew, what are you doing out here on the streets? Oh, well, my shop caught on fire, and my children died in the fire, and my mom died of old age at the age of 47. So I have no one now. I've lost my home. Well, at least your mom died young, though. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? 47 is the average life expectancy. I hope to be as fortunate as her. My children and cousins were not. I'm so sorry. You didn't mention your cousins before. What happened to them? They died of some weird illness. I believe it's because of the lack of public infrastructure. Because, you know, people just dump their sewage in the rivers and streets. And it contaminates public water. Oh, well that's bad. Let's head back. Bye. We're going to head back to our time now. It's been a little too much here. See you there. Well, that concludes our video. We'll see you next week when we go to Russia.